Hello guys. Nice to see you today at our new lesson. Today we will talk about some general info about Postman. Here is our agenda for today. We will talk with you a bit about Postman history. Consider main components of Postman. Understand why we should learn Postman. Afterwards we will discuss the role of the Postman in software testing process. Let's start our course from a short introduction of the Postman's history and the people who were the founders of this beautiful API testing tool. According to the About Us section on the Postman's official website, it started simply as a side project to solve a specific problem in 2014. Abhinav Astana, Postman's CEO and co-founder, set out to create a tool that would simplify the API testing process. As the tool's usage quickly exploded, Abhinav recruited two of his former colleagues, Ankit Sopti and Abhijit Kane, to help him create Postman Incorporated. Postman is now the world's leading collaboration platform for API development, and the three founders still lead the company to this day. Let's proceed with the following Postman components and features that make it so popular in the modern testing and development world. First, we should start from request creation component. It enables us to create, send and save REST, SOAP or GraphQL requests, edit URLs, select HTTP method or create and save custom method, edit request headers, manage cookies associated with various domains, automatically save requests in history, etc. Second, Postman has response view component that helps us to do the following. View status code, response size, and response time. View response headers. View response body in pretty or raw view. Automatic syntax highlighting in prettified response body. Automatic language detection in prettified response body, etc. Variables feature of Postman helps us to set, retrieve, and clear variable values with scripts in the Postman sandbox. Session variables keep sensitive information local to your machine. Use dynamic variables insert dummy data. Share environments to multiple workspaces. Export global variables as JSONs, etc. Scripts component of Postman is used too. Write scripts at collection, folder or request level. Write pre-request scripts to execute before the request. Write test scripts to execute after the request. Use scripts to send requests. Use scripts to set request execution order, etc. Collections part of Postman enables us to organize and keep track of related requests. Share collections to workspaces. Run collection in collection runner. Create fork and merge changes. View changes in changelog. Please note that these were just a few mostly used features of Postman, and we will consider much more in our following video lessons together. We will understand how cool and convenient this tool is for software testing. We should learn Postman since it is one of the most popular tools for testing of REST web services in the modern software development world. RESTful web services, in their turn are also in demand on the market in IT industry and most of the companies across the world. Such a common API architecture as a microservices is now used to build various web applications such as online shops, trade markets, etc. Most of the microservices are using REST API that is very convenient to test with the help of Postman. In its turn, if you want to be a software test engineer in the modern world overfilled with qualified specialists, you should have skills with API testing with Postman. Moreover, if you want to become a test automation engineer in future, you will have to write automated tests that will check each endpoint of your web service automatically. Each engineer should first check the specific request manually before writing automated code to reduce the time spent for debugging. The reason for it is that Postman will provide you with a better verbosity in comparison with any debug tool available in any integrated development environment where you will write and run your code. As a result, Postman learning will be useful for you if you have a willing to apply to a walk as a software test automation engineer in future. The following advantage of this software testing tools use is that automated tests can even be created inside Postman with the help of inbuilt tools. With the help of Postman, you can write your automated tests directly inside it using simple to understand and learn JavaScript programming language. In its turn, you can even be on the same wave with the software developers on front-end side who will understand your written tests well. You may even import your test to a simple file that can be used by developers on their own machines and the test can be included in your automated test pipeline to run the tests on a daily basis. 
These were just a few words about the benefits that Postman's usage for API testing can bring to you as a testing engineer. We will talk about them in more details in our future lessons. Also, you will see how easy to understand and use this tool is in the upcoming video lessons. Postman is designed to check requests from the client to the server and receive a response from the backend with a great user interface. The developers of this tool say that Postman has become a powerful set of API testing tools that have become a must for many developers and testers. This product helps you create stunning APIs and improve development productivity. Postman is used by more than a million developers around the world, and this number is constantly growing. Postman provides a graphical user interface for generating and validating requests. With the help of the well-designed user interface, even a non-technical person can easily understand how to use this tool. In the modern world of testing, engineers do not want to dive deep in technologies and programming and Postman is a tool that allows such non-technical people to test the API manually fast. You do not need to have some specific technical background to understand how the Postman works from inside. You should just understand what API call you should make, what is expected response, and how to compare the expected response with the actual one. All of the listed above can be easily done with the help of this powerful testing tool without deep dive in technical details. In fact, this is all information required to know in a nutshell about Postman. The first lecture will not have any practical homework. We will learn more about API and web services in our following lesson. That is everything what I got for you for today. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next lesson.